Hey, guys. Mike, your host of Craft Beer Storm. How are you doing today? It is Wednesday, and therefore we will be doing beer styles. But first, let's hear a couple of words from our sponsor. Your passion is brewing and packaging the best beers possible. Here at ID Technology, our passion is providing the best date coating solutions to help your products look great, meet regulatory needs, and ensure your customers are happy. With thermal inkjet, continuous inkjet, and laser coaters, we can handle every bottle, can, or carton for the smallest startup to national powerhouse brewers. Head over to idtechnology.com forward slash beer to learn more about our coating systems and other solutions for small breweries. Be sure your products look great. And this week's beer style is the German style Kolsch. Delicious summer beer. If you haven't had one, you got to try one. And we have a, a description courtesy of Beer Advocate uh, at www.beeradvocate.com, uh, giving you good stuff. First, brewed in Köln, Germany. This formerly obscure style is now found at many. U.S. brew pubs and a number of breweries have released their own creative takes using American hops and other non-traditional ingredients. Light to medium in body with a soft mouthfeel and a straw yellow or pale gold color. A Kolsch has a spicy herbal noble hop bitterness that is medium to slightly assertive. Less than a Pilsner, but not by much. A somewhat fruity or vinous grapey from malt quality and a crisp dryish finish make up the rest of the flavor flavor profile so it's a very delicious it's a delicious beer very nice for summer year round too it's good the color on the kolsch is straw to gold clarity chill haze should not be present perceived malt aroma and flavor Malt character is very low to low with soft sweetness, and caramel character should not be evident in a Kolsch. A perceived hop aroma and flavor. The hop aroma and flavor is low, and if evident, should express noble hop character. Perceived bitterness is medium to medium high. Uh, The body is low to medium low, and dry and crisp, so it's a nice crisp beer. ABV on this uh, Kolsch is a 4.8% to a 5.3%. Pretty sessionable. Pretty good beer. Drink a lot of it. It's good. Uh, The glassware to serve it in is a Strange. It's like a slender cylinder glass. They use these and they put them in uh, like carousels in in Europe. They're just a small glass. uh, And you could drink a lot of them. (laughs) They keep bringing them, so it's good. Uh, But it's a delicious beer. Yeah, you can get you can drink uh, drink a load of it because it's nice, easy going beer. Uh, refreshing examples, courtesy of Beer Advocate. Uh, summertime, uh, and that's from Goose Island Beer Company, and Goose Island's in Illinois, United States, at gooseisland.com. But however, check out episode number twenty five where we speak with Matt Jimenez. He's the head brewer at Goose Island in in China, in Shanghai. We had him on the podcast. Check out episode number 25. I'm going to put the link on the show notes. ABV of the Goose Island summertime is 5%. Uh, Some notes from the brewery. With a light, fruity aroma and a bright, crisp finish. Goose Island summertime Kolsch is the perfect summer session ale. A Kolsch beer brewed in the traditional German fashion. You'll find yourself enjoying and savoring each sip of summertime. As much as you do those hot summer days and cool summer nights. Sounds really good. Uh, second beer we have is uh, California Kolsch by uh, the Ballast Point Brewing Company making excellent beer. And Ballast Point Brewing Company is in uh, California. Uh, BallastPoint.com. And ABV on that one is a 5.2%. It's a nice sessional beer. Good stuff. There's no wonder why our pale ale is so popular. It is skillfully crafted in the style of the Kolsch beers of Cologne, Germany. We chosen German hops for aroma and rounded out the recipe with a blend of American and German malts. 
While it is a very much like a pilsner, our pale ale is fermented at ale temperatures, giving it a subdued fruitiness, a perfect complement to the crispness of the wheat and maltiness of the Munich malt. If you like a lighter brew, but also like the complexity of craft beers, then our pale ale is for you. That's their California Kolsch. And that is your Kolsch beer, a very good beer, delicious for the summer, easy drinking. If you haven't had one, ask for one. Um, Go to the store, pick one up, really good beer. And that is your beer style for today. If you like what we're doing, you like our podcast, please, please, please go on iTunes and give us a rating, give us a review. Subscribe, please. (laughs) That would be awesome. Five stars would be good. And um, yeah, it takes two seconds to just click five stars. That's all you got to do. And I'm happy. Um, If you think it's worth five stars, no, you know. If uh, if you have any suggestions, Michael at uh, craftbeerstorm.com. Uh, you got any brewers that you want me to interview? I'll do it. If you got connections, I'll do it. Anybody in the beer industry, we're 360. We have our sponsor, ID Technologies. They uh, do labels and stamping on the bottom of cans. Very important. Very important for beer. Uh, there you go. So um, that's all I have for you today. I wish you the best rest of the day. And we will see you on Friday with Craft Brew News. Take care. 